Are you looking for a travel trailer that's less than 30 feet long? Well, stick around, folks. We found some awesome floor plans that'll fit anyone from couples all the way to large families. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we sure hope you'll subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, Let's get into our reviews of three awesome travel trailers less than 30 feet long for families or even couples. This travel trailer is the Grand Design Transcend Explore model number 235BH. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,462 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 2,033 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 7,495 pounds. It measures in at 26 feet 4 inches long and it can sleep up to 8 people. When you first walk in this travel trailer on the right hand side is where your sofa and Murphy bed are located. As you wrap on around you get into the dinette, bunk bed area and of course the kitchen and then behind me here is the bathroom. All right now Susan and I have switched spots and when you first walk in here from the door the first thing I feel like is it feels like a really nice large travel trailer that can easily sleep a family of four or maybe even five. On the right hand side here is where your couch is located and this is actually a pretty comfy couch uh, but the one thing I really like most about it is the way that they've designed this couch so it just rolls right over. And then it makes it super easy to bring down the Murphy bed. Now, I've already unclipped the far side over there, but all you do is just pull up these very simple and easy to use clips. The bed platform lowers right down and then you grab your mattress and pull that down as well. You'll also notice over top here, we have some open storage area. Down below that, we have a nice fabric headboard and then you've got wardrobe closets on either side. Uh, both of them are really large. They're about three feet deep, so you can hang your garments in here and still have some storage space. Both sides of the bed also feature receptacles and USB ports, and there's even a drawer down below the wardrobe cabinet for additional storage. And then you've got a nightstand here with the receptacle right above it, so if you have a CPAP machine or things like that, you have a place to put that at night. Down below, there are doors that open for even more storage. One other nice feature about the couch is that it does have two storage drawers underneath that are fully extendable. So here I am sitting at the dinette table, and I would say you could fit two people here very comfortably. Four people might be a bit of a squeeze, but all in all, it's a nice dinette setup. I really like the large window over top of the dinette, and I also like the fact that they put a receptacle right here above the table. So many RVs mount the receptacle for the dinette on the front side of the, one of the dinette booths. It's hard to reach, it's hard to get to, it's a pain in the butt. Ours is like that and I can't stand it, but this is a perfect place for it. If you're sitting here at your dinette and you're planning activities or looking up things to do or places to go, you can put your computer right here on the table, plug it right in, and you're in great shape. Now, this dinette table will also drop down and become another bed. And if you choose to do that, you would have a bed that's about eh, five feet, two inches by about, and eh, we'll call it 40 inches wide. So a small child would be able to sleep on the dinette once it converts. And I also want to point out that underneath each of the dinette booths, there is storage space under them as well. Now the kitchen area is located right across from the dinette and it's a really nice big inline kitchen setup from the refrigerator all the way across. All of your appliances are right in, or in line or in a row and it just has a nice big feel to it because there's so much countertop space that's available. Starting from the top, we have the TV located here which is in great position to watch TV from the dinette or it can swing out on its arm and you can turn it so you can view it from your couch or while you're laying in bed at night. Also, we have a couple of really nice cabinets here with the black glass doors. Just makes it look very elegant and luxurious. There's a built-in shelf inside which stays in place. Next to that, we have our microwave oven. And then, of course, down below that, we have a three-burner stove and 
This even includes an oven. Just below that, we have a big drawer, fully extendable for pots and pans. Now, just to the left of the cooktop, you have some nice countertop space here. I love the fact that there's more than one receptacle above the countertop. We have one here and one on the other side of the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink itself is a very good size, nice rectangular bowl, and it has a gooseneck faucet with an integral sprayer as well. And you even get the window over top of your sink. As we move along, you've got all this countertop space Sitting over here, you could have coffee pot, toaster, I don't know, toaster oven, whatever you wanted to have in here, and you still have plenty of room. So I jumped around the countertop to get to the door side of the kitchen just to show you there's some open storage here, and there's a good amount of it. And then on the other side of the island, there is plenty of cabinet space under the sink, under the countertops, and then you have a whole bank of drawers with fully extendable shelves for all of your kitchen utensils. Just beyond the cooktop and microwave is where the refrigerator and freezer are located. Now this is a bit of a smaller fridge for a trailer this size in my opinion and I'm really surprised that it only comes with two shelves. It just seems like you would need more space than that. The freezer up above is a very good size. It's nice and deep. Now here we are across from the kitchen and behind the dinette and this is where the bunk beds are located. And in this travel trailer, the bunk bed setup and the dinette setup are all in one big slide which goes out about three feet. So it really creates a lot of floor space inside this travel trailer. Another really unique feature about these bunk beds are normally we see them like tucked away in a corner behind the bathroom. And so although the beds might be seven feet long, you've only got maybe three feet of space that you can see and be able to climb up into the bunk beds. Now, Grand Design does not list what their carry capacity or their capacity is for these bunks. I would surmise it's probably around between two and 300 pounds. This just doesn't feel like a bunk that would support more than that. Now, in this particular case, we look for a few things with bunk beds that really make them livable, we'll call it. And that is they should each have a light, which each of these do. They should each have a window, which the top and bottom bunks both have. And then of course, they can share a receptacle and USB ports, which are loaded on the, located on the interior wall. I, I think that they're not located in the bunk walls because the bunks are in a slide out, so maybe they didn't want to put them inside those walls. A couple more features to note, this top bunk can go up and lock into place. So if you don't need the top bunk, someone sleeping on the bottom only, they have plenty of headroom and uh, don't feel so claustrophobic. And then finally down the bottom here, there are three more drawers that are fully extendable. Now here we are in the bathroom, which extends almost all the way across the back of this travel trailer, but not quite all the way. And I'll show you outside why that is, but it's still a very, very good sized bathroom. Now, as you guys know, I'm 5'11". However, as far as headroom goes in here, let's see what we have. We have six feet, five inches of headroom inside the skylight. So that's a good amount of space for you taller folks. Now inside the shower, it's got a very nice surround setup in here. It's got a couple of corner shelves for your soap and shampoo. It's got a removable wand so you can wash yourself. And I really like the fact that it has a retractable shower door. So here I am just outside the shower and this bathroom has lots and lots of cabinet space. First of all, it's got a mirrored medicine cabinet with open storage located right next to it. Plenty of space there. Down below that, we have a vanity with more countertop space and also a receptacle so you can plug in your hair dryer or shaver or what have you. Then there's additional storage space below the vanity sink. There's also open storage next to and above the commode. And finally, there's a nice big deep cabinet over top of the commode area. And finally, here I am sitting on the commode. I'm not gonna pass the elbow test on my right side, but my left side has no problem at all. And finally, like I mentioned inside, the bathroom doesn't come all the way across the full back of this camper because there's a little outdoor kitchen here with a lid that flips up. So you have a little cover if it's a little bit rainy outside, but you do have a refrigerator that comes in here and a little drawer pops out with a two burner range.
This travel trailer is the Jayco J Feather model number 21MML. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,185 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of a very impressive 2,315 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,500 pounds. It measures in at 26 feet long and can sleep up to four people. When you first walk inside this travel trailer to the right hand side is where the Murphy bed and sofa are located. Then it wraps around to the living area which includes theater seats and the dinette. The kitchen and bathroom are back here at the back of this RV. It's got a great layout. Now when Susan and I first walked inside this RV our first comment was wow this really looks nice. And there's a few reasons for it. First of all that whole side of the trailer slides out and so it creates more floor space in here but also you'll notice that you've got the nice cabinetry which is a whiter finish with a glazing on it you've got the dark trim around it and then you also have these nice plush and darker colored materials on the couch the theater seating and even the dinette so you get a nice mixture of color in here and it really pops and shows off very very well on the right hand side is where one of the sofas is located well the sofa is located um, this is a pretty comfy sofa it's got a little middle section here that pulls down and you can put a you know has a couple cup holders built into it um, and you can see the TV from here as well if you pulled it out and swung the TV around a little bit. But this also serves as a Murphy bed. So you would jackknife your sofa out and then just pull this little clasp. And then the bedroom, the bed platform drops. And then you just fold out your mattress. Now, this kind of a mattress I think would be a little bit of an issue for me because the fold you know it's kind of in the middle it's really maybe down where your legs would be so maybe you wouldn't feel it as much um, they try not to put them dead center in the mattress obviously um, but depending on how tall you are that might be an issue for you now this bed is measuring in at 74 inches by 60 inches so this would be considered a short queen mattress you'll also notice that there are a couple of reading lights on either side there's also a small cubby behind the wardrobe cabinets and back in that cubby there are a couple of receptacles one on each side so you can plug in recharge things and stuff like that you'll also notice that it's got a mirrored wardrobe door on here and when you open it up these are nice but they kind of get in the way of the doors a little bit on both sides but there is a bar to hang things from and there's a removable shelf in here as well. So you can either use it as a wardrobe cabinet or just for more storage, however you would like to do it. One thing that I do like in this bedroom is there are windows on each side. So you can get a nice little cross ventilation in here. You do have a bit of a nightstand here and that also includes a receptacle on the front of the nightstand and then there's an additional cabinet down below. Now, Jayco also added a couple of drawers underneath of the sofa. And in addition to that, they have this table that slides in under here as well. I guess you could use this inside or outside of your RV. Now, maybe it's just me because we've been running around shooting video all day and I am very tired. But man, these theater seats are like super, super comfortable. I am loving life sitting here right now. Also, when you pull the release, um, the nice thing, sometimes when you sit in a reclining chair, the foot thing won't stay up. Just the weight of my legs will knock it down. But in this case, really, it stays up quite nicely. They don't recline as back, far back as I would like them to, but nonetheless, they're very, very comfortable. And you've got a bunch of cup holders here. There's one on each end, two in the middle. Now, the ones on each end also serve as holders for little tables, and so... There's a little table that will swing here. They have them packed away because this is a brand new RV. I can't get them out. Um, they're all packaged up. But anyway, there's a piece that fits in the end cup holder and you have a little table that sits in front of you. So nice little feature there. Here I am at the dinette table right across from the theater chairs. And you can see up here, this is where the TV is located. It's a great spot for when you're sitting at the theater seating or you can pull it out and swing it around so you can see it from the couch or the Murphy bed and you can lay, a night at, lay awake at night and watch a little TV before you drift off to sleep. Now, I like this dinette. It can seat four people uh, pretty well. And also, I love the size of this big window right next to it here. One other great thing about this dinette 
is that it's on the camp side of this trailer. We're starting to see that more and more now because when you sit on the camp side, you know, you can see people that are outside with your, you know, with whoever you're camping with. And that's where your fire ring is and your picnic table. So it's just a nicer view than being on the other side of the camper where you get to see your next door neighbor's hookups. So great job putting the dinette on this side. Now this will drop down into another bed. And if you do drop it down, you know, you've got about, I would call it 67 inches. And then your width is gonna be about 38 inches. So um, five feet seven, you know, somebody that's a little on the shorter side or a child would be able to sleep here very well. Now, when I look at this camper though, I feel like it's more of a couple's camper. You could sleep maybe two adults and one child if you wanted to. And that's really about it. Now, over top of the dinette, you also have some more storage up here. And then there's even a little more storage down below one of the dinette booths. Now, we're in the kitchen area. And this is one part of this camper that Susan and I really like. I mean, there's a bunch of countertop space. It's in the back of the camper. So it's just different. But it's a really nice layout in our opinion. First of all, you'll notice the refrigerator. It's got the cabinet doors uh mounted right onto the refrigerator panel so it looks really nice and residential there's a gigantic freezer in here the refrigerator is also a very very good size and this is a 12 volt fridge so it'll run on battery it has a compressor and it gets colder much faster than a propane style uh, refrigerator setup as we move more into the kitchen area you'll notice that the cabinet doors have the black glass fronts on them and they open up and there's some nice storage above uh, your cooktop and countertop area here. This also comes with a three burner stove, lots of countertop space, and then you have a receptacle over top of the countertop. Below your range, you've got a full oven underneath. Under the oven, there's a big drawer with storage for pots and pans and another storage cabinet with loads of storage space. In the very back part of the kitchen, you've got a nice big cabinet here with a black glass front with tons of storage behind it. Then you have your microwave oven. Down below that, you have a very large double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet and tons of storage space. Now, when Susan saw this, she made the comment that, hey, I've got like prep area over here with all this countertop space in the sink. And then I've got cook area over here with my cooktop and extra countertop space here. So very, very well done in terms of making sure you have lots of space to do whatever part of cooking you're doing. Now below the sink, these double doors open up and there's plenty of storage under there and you have a bank of drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. Here I am in the bathroom standing in the shower as usual. And as you guys know, I'm 5'11", but let's see how much space we have headroom wise into the skylight. And it looks like we have six feet five inches so even you taller folks should be pretty good when you're taking a shower in here now this has a nice enclosure um, it's got corner shelves on both corners in here so plenty of room for soap conditioner shampoo whatever you have uh, and it also has a shower curtain but it's on a track so you know that's pretty nice and the track actually swings out and into the bathroom so it gives you even more space while you're in the shower just outside the shower you've got a mirrored medicine cabinet here with a shelf inside plenty of space down below that you've got a towel ring mounted on the wall a decent amount of countertop space around your bathroom sink and then you have more storage below the bathroom sink you also have a spot with open storage and there's a receptacle in here in case you need that. Next to that, we have our linen cabinet with some shelves in there, so even more storage. And here we are in the bathroom. And although I'm not gonna pass the elbow test in here, this bathroom is big enough that you're just not gonna feel like you're in a small room or cramped at all. This travel trailer is the KZ Connect SE model number C241BHKSE. That is a mouthful. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,380 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,620 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds. It measures in at 29 feet, one inch long, and it can sleep up to eight people. 
When you first walk into this RV, you'll find the owner's bedroom on the right hand side. That wraps on around into the living and dining area. Then of course we have our kitchen, bunk beds with amazing capacity, and the bathroom. So when I first walk into this camper, my first impression is that it feels pretty big in here. I mean, it's a very nice setup. The dinette bumps out to create a lot of floor space. I like the L-shaped kitchen. And then of course we have an entertainment center here, which is where your TV would be on the wall. But on the right hand side is where the owner's bedroom is located. So let's head in there and check it out. So here we are in the owner's bedroom. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice setup in here. The first thing I notice is that you can get out of your bed on your own side without having to disturb the other person. So that's a really great feature that a lot of folks look for in a travel trailer. And since we're talking about the bed, let's go ahead and get a measurement on it. This is 74 inches by 60 inches. So it would be considered a short queen bed, but you have all the room around the bed to get in and out. So that kind of makes up for it. Now you'll notice that we have open storage here over top. You know, this is okay for when you get to where you're going, but if you put things up here while you're driving down the road, they're going to fall off. You might need to install some sort of a cargo net up there to hold things in place. Each side of the bed features a mirrored wardrobe closet. So there's a bar up top. You can hang your garments in there and it's tall enough. You could actually put things underneath of your hanging garments as well. Behind each wardrobe uh, cabinet, there are uh, a shelf and a shelf above it. So two places for you to stow things away. There's also receptacles and USB ports on both sides. So you can charge your electronic devices while you're sleeping at night. There's also a light overhead to light you up while you're maybe reading or whatever before you go to sleep. And then there is sort of a nightstand on each side of the bed as well. So if you have a CPAP or something like that, you have a place to put it. Now, right behind me here is where you would mount your TV on the wall and all of your rough ends are right in the ceiling above it. So it's a very convenient location. And if you put it on a swing arm, you can pull out your TV and be able to lay in bed at night and watch TV before you drift off to sleep. There's also some storage underneath of this bed that you can take advantage of too. Now, just outside of the master bedroom, we walk back into the main part of the camper. And as I mentioned earlier, your entertainment system is here. You can mount a nice big TV on the wall here. Down below that, you've got your radio controls and a couple of speakers. And then you have some shallow storage for DVDs or whatever you might have on hand. Just next to the entertainment center, there's a nice big cabinet up here with shelves built in for some closed storage and a little bit of open storage down below. Now the dinette in here is uh, a pretty big dinette. I mean, it's super long, but it's also very shallow. So, you know, I would say two people really would be able to sit here comfortably. I guess you could get it up to three if you really wanted to. That would work out as well. I do like that it has a really nice big window behind the dinette and part of the window does open so you can get some cross breeze through here. And as I mentioned earlier, the dinette does sit in a slide out. So it's about a three foot slide out. So it really helps to create a lot of floor space inside of this trailer. Now, as far as storage goes, you can access storage under both ends of the dinette booth through the doors underneath, or you can pull the cushions and lift up the plywood and access your storage that way. Also, one final feature is that the table will drop down and you can convert this into another bed. And if you chose to do so, you would end up with a bed that's about seven feet long by about 38 inches wide. So an adult could sleep here very easily. Certainly a child could fit in there as well. Now, Susan and I really like this kitchen layout. This is what's known as an L-shaped kitchen. So you have everything right here, but it, this L shape creates a lot of extra countertop space. So that's why we kind of like it. it makes it feel bigger. Uh, and more modern also. It's just a really nice layout. Now starting up top you have this very large storage cabinet with plenty of room up top. Then you've got a regular microwave oven next to that. Down below that you've got a three burner stove and there's even an oven located under that so you want to bake a pizza or whatever you are good to go. Then you have all this countertop space which leads to a huge single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead. Now, just below the sink, there's a cabinet that opens up and there's a large amount of storage space under there. And then of course you have your bank of drawers 
for all of your kitchen utensils. Right next to the range and microwave is where the refrigerator and freezer are located. Now the refrigerator in here is a good size fridge for sure for a camper this large and it has a separate freezer up top which you know we love. I like to have my ice in its own freezer location. So here we are at the bunk beds back here and the first thing I have to say I noticed is this sticker right here that says bunk bed capacity 500 pounds. That's incredible. Most bunk beds that we see are 300 pounds capacity but KZ has really upped the game and gone all the way to 500 pounds so you could sleep two adults up here, two kids up here. You can also use it for storage while you're cruising down the road and not have to worry about your bunk being overweighted and then having problems with it. Now the size of this bunk bed comes in at 74 inches by, oh, let's get a good measurement here, about 50 inches wide. So again, that's a pretty decent size where you, you, know, you could get two kids up top, two kids down below, no problem. Now a couple other features that we always look for in bunk beds are, do they have their own window? Do they have a light? and do they have USB or receptacles so the kids can use charging for all of their tablets and electronic devices. Both of these bunks check off those boxes. Both bunks have their own window, their own light, and their own USB ports. And finally, under the bottom bunk, there's a little bit of storage space under there that you can use. Maybe your dog kennel fits under there, or maybe you just use it for shoe storage. Who knows, but the space is there for you. Now, just before we head into the bathroom, there is one more cabinet here, and you could use this as a pantry cabinet, a linen cabinet, both. It all depends, but it's nice and deep. It's about two feet deep. You've got three drawers up here of closed storage, and then one open storage down below. Now, here I am in the bathroom, and I'm standing in the shower like I usually do, and this shower feels really kind of big to me. I mean, the height in here in the skylight area is six feet, six inches. But I think the real difference is that most showers are only about two feet wide. This one's uh, about 28, 29 inches wide. And you can really feel that extra space in here because it just makes that much of a difference. Now there is a wand in here that you can use that detaches. And then of course it has a shower curtain. And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of shower curtains, but you know, you can always pick up a retractable door and install it yourself. It's really not that hard. Now, outside of the shower, we have a corner medicine cabinet with a mirror on it. There's tons of storage inside the medicine cabinet. Then we also have a corner vanity with a sink. There's storage under that as well. And then we wrap around with more countertop space and open storage below. So here I am on the commode. This is a really roomy bathroom. We're gonna pass the elbow test all day long in here. Now that you've had a chance to check out all three of these awesome travel trailers, let us know which one is your favorite and why in the comments down below. And if you'd like to check out some more travel trailers with bathrooms, just click the box down below. And Susan and I will see you in the next video.